people in the know, can you imagine me coming on here and recommending Solo? Probably not. But the movie I am going to recommend today is a 2007 film called Sukiyaki Western Django. Sukiyaki Western Django is a film directed by Japanese powerhouse filmmaker with over 100 films under his belt, Takashi Miike. Takashi Miike's made movies like Ichi the Killer and One Missed Call and about 97 other movies, the Dead or Alive trilogy. Takashi Miike has made a lot of movies and if you would like to go through his filmography, good luck to you. It's going to take you forever. Anyway, let's talk about Sukiyaki Western Django. Now this is a Japanese sequel homage to the amazing Sergio Corbucci film Django. So let me tell you a little bit about the Django legacy. Um, now you're familiar with Django Unchained, the Quentin Tarantino movie, which was a movie that had the original actor from the Django movie, the Sergio Corbucci movie, Franco Nero, as a bit part in the movie. Anyway, Django, the original Django, the Sergio Corbucci movie, has only had one official sequel. This movie, Sukiyaki Western Django, is an homage, a sequel to the original Sergio Corbucci movie. And in fact, this movie actually has Quentin Tarantino in it. He was a big fan of the movie Django, and obviously he made Django Unchained. Now, the original Django movie has nothing to do with slaves. It's a Western, it's a spaghetti Western, it's super violent. I am a huge fan. It is literally my favorite Western of all time. Anyway, if you want to see Sukiyaki Western Django, let me say that one more time, Sukiyaki Western Django, this movie is amazing. Um, it is a samurai movie. It is the classic samurai movie, white versus red. The two clans at war with each other with the Romeo and Juliet vibe of one woman from one clan and the man from another clan getting together. Anyway, so this movie, what's interesting about this is that all of the actors speak English, regardless of whether or not English is a language that they speak. So it's best to watch this movie with subtitles. Even though they're all speaking English, their Japanese accents sometimes make it a little hard to understand what they're saying. Quentin Tarantino is in the very beginning of this movie as kind of the storyteller of the movie. Um, he's super over the top, super Quentin Tarantino, but it's, uh, it's a fun little cameo. You should check out this movie. It's violent. If you're familiar with Takashi Miike movies, you're not going to be surprised on what kind of movie you're going to get. It's going to be violent. It's going to be over the top. Uh, if you check out some of Miike's filmography, that's great. But definitely check out Sukiyaki Western Django. Um, it's a movie that I have to say like a hundred times during this video. Um, Sukiyaki Western Django. Check it out if you like samurai movies. Check it out if you like westerns. Check it out if you like violent movies. Check it out if you just want to have a good time watching a movie with a bunch of actors trying really hard to speak English, regardless of whether or not it's their first language. It's, um, it doesn't take away from the movie at all. Um, it's a little weird the first time you watch it because you're not expecting it, but I truly love this movie. I've seen it a few times and it just... I go back to it all the time. This movie, because of this movie, I went back and actually looked up to see why this movie was made. Why is it called this? And I actually found the Sergio Corbucci film and absolutely fell in love with that movie. That movie is amazing. You should check out Django, the original Django, Sergio Corbucci. You should check out the uh, Takashi Miike Sukiyaki Western Django I mean, I'm sure you've seen Django Unchained by Quentin Tarantino, but there are subtle references to the original Django movie in both movies. All, all I wanted to do during this video is talk about Django. I didn't even want to talk about this movie. What I really want to talk about is this one. I want to talk about Django. Look at this movie. Django, Franco Nero. I have to go pick up all the Blu-rays that I just dropped. Anyway, Sukiyaki Western Django, check this movie out it is a lot of fun 
if you like to have fun watching a movie, and who doesn't? Isn't that the whole point most of the time? Now, if you want to watch a sad movie, you could definitely do that. There are plenty of Bellatar and uh, Ingmar Bergman and, and Tarkovsky movies to really make you sad. Um, you can watch this movie, Solo. I'm not going to do a formal recommendation of it because nobody will listen to me. Anyway, Google the... I went into this whole thing about recommending this movie, but my crossover audience will not be into this movie. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't watch Solo.